like it or not, like Filaret was now in control in the control of the Polish court or like court. He's gone. He's out of the picture <laughs> temporarily. Now this left Michael and Martha in Moscow, and mm-hmm. as it's not good, not, right? For, for you think that. But as Novgorod had the shit sacked out of it by Yvonne the Terrible, they weren't crazy about the Polish option because the whole right. Catholic converting thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. And the Swedish occupation that was occurring <laughs> because of Vasily IV, um, it was actually really working out for those guys. So they mm-hmm. decide out of the blue since... You know, Vladislav won't convert to Orthodox to propose Gustavus Adolphus, the king of Sweden, through his crown into the right to rule. Let's I'm just tired. throw my hat into the ring. <laughs> I'm so tired of this, Bethany. I, it's just an <laughs> endless parade of shit, and I'm tired of talking about it. I'm I sorry. should be the winner. I should be the czar. And I if, have the rightful bloodline. Hardy, hardy, exactly. <laughs> If I was living it, I would say fuck it and just kill myself and be done. <laughs> kill me, burn it all down, don't care anymore. Yeah, I mean. Like, I'd just... <laughs> I mean, right? Like, I'd just be done with it. I'd just be right. done with it. But the sad thing is, we're we're so far from done with it, and yet we're closing in on done with it. Right, so, right, right. The then, then, because the patriarch of the church is now in Polish custody, a new patriarch <laughs> is elected, and that patriarch of the Orthodox Church, which people listen to, makes a kingdom wide announcement that there should be no floor or like foreign influence in Mother Russia. Because apparently only Russians can fight over Russia, I guess. <laughs> it's if I'm gonna fight over Russia, it better be because I'm Russian. It's mine. <sighs> and only I can have it because it's mine. I'm from here. That's I mean, I exactly. get it, but it's mine. It's all no. mine. That's exactly how it went. And then so a bunch of nobles and princes and boyers are like, hey, brah, you know, you're right. Brah. Yeah. They've had one too many doobies. (laughs) Brah. We're like totes behind this. (laughs) For real, though. (laughs) Like, we're super into this idea that you have. And, uh, you know, you're right. So... Hmm. They raise, start raising a big ass army to expel foreign a influence. In. <laughs> a big ass army, big in. And never mind that they couldn't get one army together to declare a czar, but apparently they can scrape her together to start trying to get rid of motherfuckers like that I aren't mean, from there. I mean, nothing brings people together than intruders. Can anything? <laughs> can anything be? I was gonna say, can anything be more Western European or American than that? Oh, we I hate each can. other. What? You want it? No, go fuck yourself. No, no, you're not from here. We'll put you aside our shit here. till you. She don't even go shit. here. <laughs> you don't even go here. Exactly. I just On want to all be with sunshine and rainbows and. And be friends forever. I shouldn't even go here. I shouldn't even go here. Which, I mean, I guess that's good. At least yeah, they can all I mean, agree to fight together over something. We're Albeit, all in this together when we fight other people because they're not yeah. like us. Albeit, <laughs> it's their hatred of foreigners. I would agree I mean, with that statement. It's not... A, <laughs> ugh. You know what? We're gonna put this in the we're gonna put that in the dubious win column. Right. (laughs) (laughs) And let's face it, we have nothing but the dubious win column and the oh god column at this point. I I mean they're kind of one and the same now. (laughs) We have the brains and genitals column (laughs) and the dubious win column. And they're both very extreme. <laughs> Welcome to <Uh-oh>. Russia. <laughs> so, 
A shot. So, <laughs> in the South, the brigand, aka mm-hmm. false Dimitri number two, is like yes. randomly murdered by his own oh, God. bodyguard in a palace coup. Damn. Sweet Jesus in so, heaven. So hold on. B brigade. Brigand. False. Brigand, sorry. False. Dimitri. Mm, number number two. two. Was murdered. By his by own bodyguard. A... In a palace-like uprising. In the south. Yeah. Pretty much how it happened. Wait, what was he doing that made all these people upset? Like, was he they really just... that, that bad? No. He just, I don't, I don't. a lot of enough people knew he was false. He didn't uh-huh. win the war. He Things weren't progressing. And now we've got this big army amassing that's like, fuck everyone. We're going to take control of Russia and then just vote somebody else. We're okay, tired of I fucking with it. I get it because it's like, if you show up and you say, I'm the real one. Well, you better show up and put out. Otherwise, Exactly. Otherwise, ain't nobody buying your shit. Like, yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. okay. It was, if they want to be, <laughs> if they want to belong to the line of the Caesars, they better know that the Praetorian Guard is coming for them, kind of thing. Yeah. So, done. <laughs> thank God at this okay. point that Russia has so many fucking people, or nobody right. would be alive. Right, exactly. Like, I mean, talk about total control. Scary. But of all but... things, Marinka the Witch raises the <laughs> banners for her infant son, known as the Baby Brigand, which is the oh, heir to False Dimitri, and <sighs> with her Cossack mercenary army, joins, for whatever reason, the pro-Swedish faction oh, in God. Novgorod. Which super weird alliance. We've got one alliance that's like, yeah, let's put the Swedish king in charge of all this. But by all means, other false pretenders' son join the army. But they do, for whatever reason. And they march on the poles that are currently occupying Moscow. I guess the enemy of my enemy is my friend kind of thing. Okay, I'm just going to stop you there because... I just developed a slight headache <laughs> because only because <laughs> this, I kind of have felt bad for Marinka at one point, but now I'm like, this bitch is like literally like milking the cow for all it's worth. Yeah. She's she, a huge see you next Tuesday. Like, okay, well I couldn't make it there. So guess what? Oh, I'm going to claim this person as my fucking son or my husband's son knowing that, that if my... they lose she's putting a price on that baby's head because they gotta kill she any false her. she don't care she don't care she's saving her own motherfucking skin so and i am tired of this bitch exactly so while they're am- amassing this anti-russian army before they can even get the jump the swedes and baby brigand's army join forces and march on the poles so actually half of their work <laughs> is gonna get done for this Russian army. Well, so the, lucky them. Lucky them. So the Poles <laughs> hole up in the Kremlin <laughs> and hold the boy. <laughs> I didn't say I did. I know actually. you said Poles hole. I'm but sorry, I said but it in conjuncture of a proper uh, sentence. I know, but it, would, it doesn't matter. Like if I took a picture, it would still say Poles hole. Technically, it say, it's hole up. <laughs> Poles. No, up. it doesn't say that. It says poles hole up. That's what it says in this outline. Right oh here. Oh my god. Do the I need to add the goddamn up. dash? <laughs> the poles. Maybe you up. should. No, I have. <laughs> I know you can oh my god. Real time. <laughs> yes, I can. I hate you being able to do that, but I'm oh sorry. Oh my we'll god. I'm gonna, when there. I get mad at it was you, there, I'm going to start calling you Marie the witch. <gasps> Jesus. 
I love you. I'm Bitch knew how to survive. So cheers to her. She might. Well, might she Cersei really that she shit. Survive. She really Cersei that shit. I'll give mm-hmm. that to her. Cersei slash Daenerys that shit. Daenerys like, that shit right up. Wasn't giving it up. No. And wow. Smart. Smart move. So the Poles who are currently occupying <laughs> Moscow on behalf of the the acclaimed czar Vladislav, even though he wants to convert to off, like orthodoxy, they're holed up in the Kremlin and the boy with all the important boyars, nobles, and of course Michael Romanov. Romanov as and how old is he by now? He's oh. getting there. He's like in his teens now. Oh shit! And he's a hostage. Yeah, the Polish are holding them hostage because they got the Swedes and baby brigands armies descending on them. Oh, now, okay. because he's the, actually the closest, rel- I mean, not really, closest blood. He's the next votable czar, isn't he? There. Yes, 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 yes. And he is becoming fondly of age, a considerable Along age. Along with all the Russian boyars and nobles that count at court. Now they're all hostage. Right, so right. the armies of Baby Brigand and okay. the Swedes begin a well, just the armies of Baby Brigand begin a siege, but they fail to oust the Poles and are defeated. Mm. So, Mar- yikes! Not a good, not a good look for what's supposed to be Dimitri's son. So, Marinka right. and the Baby Brigand flee south. But remember the No Foreigners Army. Yeah, 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 yeah. All oh, those no foreigners. Yeah, the Swedes and Baby Brigand, they fail, but the no foreigners army is amassed, and after all, they are Russian, so they're tough as goddamn nylon and nails. Mm-hmm. Like, they Bring it up, roll in Moscow. Yeah, they Hold roll in Moscow. <laughs> Hold my errands. Let me put my freaking hair in a bun. Like, they're coming at it. They ho- they roll into Moscow and they have a goal at the Polish. Like then they besiege the Poles once more in the Kremlin, but for like fucking realsies this time, if that for makes reals. sense. <laughs> like okay, um, we said we're gonna they do it, ain't like, going for real, for real. <laughs> like for real, for real. Gonna, <laughs> for real, for real. We're not going anywhere. We're here to eat your fucking face. Welcome to <laughs> Russia. Midwinter, bitch. Like it is real <laughs> we, now. We, we eat snowflakes for breakfast <laughs> in our sleep. Like, in yeah, sleep. no, that's what the I attitude. <laughs> what that's I the attitude they have adopted. They're eating snowflakes <laughs> for breakfast and drinking well, vodka for lunch. Riding, this shit well, just <laughs> got real. real while riding a polar bear through. <laughs> like, what's on your resume, bitch? Shirtless. <laughs> It's exactly. They're here I mean, to bring it Russian style. It got real. Real. Yeah. For real. And as anybody yeah. knows, any any good siege is supposed to and will eventually lead to starvation. Yeah, you gotta starve them people out, man. Uh, How do you control so. the people? You can drink food and water. That's right. I mean, so the Poles once again held the Boyers and the Romanovs uh, hostage. Which, surprise, surprise, uh, it's a long, drawn out siege. They're in it to win it outside. They don't give a shit who's inside. So their dead right. bodies start turning up everywhere. And it is uh, most likely that the Poles and their hostages were forced to engage in some good old fashioned cannibalism. Oh no. Just when you think this effing story oh, like can't get worse, we oh. add the Dahmer element. Okay. Hold on. Pause. I need to drink a huge swig of my beer right now. <laughs> because I was, I was cannibalism not ready for that here, part. guys. Cannibalism. We've reached that point in the troubles. Awesome. Eating people. We are there. <laughs> oh, God, I'm ready to be done. <laughs> and you wonder why this is in the history of all Russian minds forever? I'll tell you That's why. Right. We've resorted to dahmer cannibalism. <laughs> I mean, yum. The story's just the best, isn't it? 
It's the <laughs> best. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. Fuck you, as my, bitch. As my husband is literally frying chicken as we speak. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, you can laugh all you want, but that smell, that's what they were smelling, human body-wise, uh, though. I mean... Some good I'll old pork, me. some good old roast pork and chicken. You have to be nummy, super nummy. hungry. You have to be super hungry to, As like, I understand all it, that. when they finally occupied the city, they found, like, random limbs and heads, like, disjointed uh, from everything. Uh, and they found them just outside, piled in stables and whatever else. Because eventually you're going to eat all the livestock. Then you're going to eat all the cats and the dogs. And then you got to resort rats. to the dead bodies. Yeah, when and the then, rats are dead, when you're out ratted, what comes next? Uh, people. Dead people. Ask the Donner Party what comes next. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Uh, I, I mean, history is so much fucking fun. Am I right? I don't know if fun is really the word I'd use right now in this situation. And bear in but mind, the <laughs> future czar and his mother are held hostage in this fucking place during and this they're not time. Dead, so, thank God, right? No, they don't die. They certainly don't, but they probably had their share of like human PTSD. Flesh. PTSD. And PTSD. <laughs> Classic case. And he wasn't even fucking czar yet. It's not like no. he's held hostage for anything other than the fact that he could be the czar. He's probably so, like at this point, like I have denied it twice. I've been denied twice. Maybe there's a reason. Now that I'm of age, I'm I like, I am mm -hmm. fucking no. Trust me, these people. As we get into this story, are like, <laughs> what the when fuck it comes to that, that, they're like, no, no. No, thank you. No, 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 no. no. I'm Don't okay. Worry, czar. No, I'm, I'm good. Not... Uh, but then they're not given any choice. So finally, the Poles are coaxed into releasing the Boyers, the Nobles, and the Romanovs on the pretense that they could just surrender to this army and everything was going to be cool. Boo. Wrong. Wrong. Yep. Wrong. Knew it. <laughs> Knew it. Yeah. It this was coming. Is the no foreigners army, remember? Yeah. Like, oh. And you're a foreigner. No, sorry. <laughs> and Did we say wrong. Fine print. Did you not read the fine print? Like, um, the no, no foreign army? Uh. The no foreign influence bullshitters over here? <laughs> the one thing that seems to get them to stop purging, they get to purge you. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, who? So the Poles did come out, and they were just summarily slaughtered, like in the streets. Didn't oh, give a shit. Probably killed the killed the shit out of them at Saint Basil or Basil's Cathedral. They didn't care. They were in a murder no. mood. <laughs> they were purging Bethany. Did you look at me wrong? Yes. Off with your head. Exactly. Stab you in the eyeball into the brain and watch you bleed out. <laughs> but is there light at the end of the Oh, tunnel? God, I hope so. Fucking finally, because this army not only repelled the Swedes up in the north while the baby brigand was trying to lay siege and failed. Now they've repel, er, repelled the Poles, and aside from Marinka and the baby brigand in the south, guess what, Bethany? Civil War is finally over. Over? Dun, dun, yeah. dun. They've purged out. They've had enough. No more. No more. Which just really Finally, like ten million years later. <laughs> you find now you've had enough. Now okay. just now. Like it takes all of this, like, oh, no foreigners. You know what? We'll get our shit together and vote correctly and do whatever we <laughs> gotta do. Um, but now we're like over foreigners so we gotta like get our shit together and we've purged we've purged enough at this point we purged us we purged all our own people we got bored with that now we've moved on to an enemy 
we were super excited about that, but we've moved on. Understandably, yeah. here we and are. We're ready. We're ready to keep going. Why you got to bring up old shit? You know what yeah. I mean? Exactly. <laughs> Granted, the Civil War is almost over, but it's also because most of the contenders are dead or <laughs> are te- temporarily back in their own country. But you know. Thank God for small miracles. <laughs> you got to take what you can get. I mean, <laughs> at this point. Uh, that ought to be the national fucking re- like <laughs> motto of Russia. We're just going to take what we can get at this at point. At this point. Like, <laughs> do you have any idea what we've been through? No, read a, read a history We book. no longer have to wipe our ass <laughs> our leaves and stand in line for three hours for toilet paper. We're doing pretty goddamn good as far yes. as history sees it. Yeah, no, it should be the national motto. Uh, like, the movie as good as it gets should be their <laughs> national title movie. Uh, it's the only one they're allowed to watch. No, I just, uh, I mean, it, if they have it, if they yes. have it, bless on VHS. their goddamn hearts. It's it's on VHS. Let's, that's even stretching it. Let's face I mean, it. Uh, you can find it on TV, but it's blurred. It's right They're there. just now getting that Soviet era like bullshit. I'm sorry, Russia. That was hateful. That's not true. You have DVD players. We believe in you, maybe. <laughs> Prove it. So that no. you can watch the words of Vladimir Putin over and over again. But <laughs> that way, on every channel, no matter what you DVR. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. If we are not alive next week, please forgive us. <laughs> I don't mean anything that I have to say against you, Vladimir Putin. I very much enjoy being alive. And I if have no problem with how listen. you do. I mean, I do have a problem with how you do shit, but it's not my business. Let's put it that way. We love being alive, sir. We love being alive. We love being alive. We love, we love, we love, we love, we love being alive. <laughs> I told you what happened. I should okay. take it a huge <laughs> win for us if Vladimir <laughs> Putin ever heard this. Me like these guns. <laughs> They, lo- they love me, but I am I, not um, being about these cunts. I won't. I won't murder them. I won't murder them. <laughs> <laughs> no murder today. We sound like fucking Natasha and Boris, yes. which is just I offending know. all <laughs> Russian people. I'm sorry, everywhere. we're bad. We we're apologize, <laughs> kind of, but not kind really, to sorry. Vladimir Putin I'm sorry, as I'm well. Sorry. But ca- <laughs> sorry, I'm not sorry to Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Oh, don't kill me. I love my life. And oh, please don't kill us. So let's. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> and we're back on track. <laughs> and we're focused. So as soon as they free young Michael Romanov and his mother, nun Martha, they get the hell out of Dodge. Obviously. And make it to well, the post haste. Like, why wouldn't you get. Good for them. Right, they're not stupid. Not never an early Romanov was stupid. They're real smart to begin with till the inbreeding gets them and the Germanness later on. But <laughs> the early, very Russian ones were like, fuck this noise. I'm out. Yeah. Peace. Bye. Bye. Peace. Bye. 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 Exactly. Uh. <laughs> so those two hole up in the Ipatyev, I believe is how you say it. And I apologize. No. Again, Russia, no. I apologize for everything, it's but I believe it's Patyav no. Monastery. That's not what it well, says. How would you say it? I Patyev. I no. Whatever. No. I don't care. No. no. We're gonna go with My name's Patyav. Jessica. And I know everything. JWR. This is not a language you know that I'm familiar with. I'm just assuming the little Slavic knowledge that I have, and I would say it Pachyov Monastery. Okay. Well, I'm using my English dictionary knowledge. <laughs> I call it English dictionary. Fuck <laughs> you. You're using your Merriam Webster <laughs> dictionary knowledge, not even your Oxford English oh, dictionary knowledge. Yeah. 
Well, I didn't study that, nerd. Okay. <laughs> yes, I know. It's Color with a U would surprise you. Apatia Monastery. Apatia. 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 We gotta <laughs> stop saying it because that might not okay. even be right. Oh, probably not. More than likely, it won't be. <laughs> most than most likely, it is incorrect. Patty, can we call anybody? It Patty? Paul, <laughs> Paul, I know you listen to this, and you can tell me on Twitter uh, how incorrect I am. Um, <laughs> so nobody <sighs> knew where these two had essentially even gone. Right? They but were like them. free at last, Peace. free at last, like I'm you motherfucker, free at last. <laughs> they were gone. They like ghosted. Why didn't they do this before? Well, they didn't think to. I mean, you got to think if the czar is the elected poll, you don't think that Russia's going to get its shit together and be like, nah, fuck uh, this noise. Fuck you, true. you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Cool. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Nobody thinks that's going to happen, but that's oh. exactly what did happen. It does. And, and they were quicker to realize and got the hell out of Dodge. No, I mean, they sense. finally get the hell out of Dodge now that everything is free. They're like, nope, we get it now. We're done. And to be honest, at first, no one gave a shit where they went, you know? Well, um, at the time, they seemed right? to be tainted as collaborators. How many times, how many brigands? How many false czars had Filarat been appointed by? Now I he's mean. in custody of the Polish court. <laughs> like, like, everyone the did, wolf. did not... Exactly. Well, he's goddamn Luke St- Skywalker at this time. Nobody <laughs> gives two shits. <laughs> They're like, mm, we're over it. We're over we're, it. We're, we're, okay, cool. Yeah, sure. No you're, one gives you're, a shit. You're, you're the czar. Everyone's a czar. Everybody gets to be a czar. Everybody's a czar. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> well, I am, um, you know, oh, like, very nice. So, <laughs> 800 some odd delegates roll into the Kremlin. So this is nobles, boyars, priests, anybody of any influence in the land of Russia rolls into the Kremlin to take part in this general assembly to elect a new czar and finish this shit once Once and for all. all. No more bullshit. No more pretenders. We're not going to pick this guy because he was friends with this guy or this guy because he held the coup and play. We're done with that bullshit. Wow. <clears throat> They're and in it this? to win it. <laughs> what year is this? What year are we in now? <laughs> um, the very, very early 1600s. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we're um, at least getting our shit together at least faster than I thought we would be. So, <laughs> so I mean, hard. relatively right. soon. Remember, Civil War is done. They got one unified army. They're like, right. no foreigners, no bullshit. Like, let's That's get this cool. done. Someone and be done. So every single prince of the land, of other lands, including Sweden and Poland, I, I don't know, fucking Big Bird, just <laughs> anyone and everyone <laughs> with some tie to the rear kid was put forth to be voted upon. You know, my sister's husband's cousin's sister's brother's twice removed aunt. Was you know his friend? Kid. You know his that, friend, they though, were, right? They, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They were related, that, that. too. He, I think he's, re- yep, he's related to the Ruhr kid. That <laughs> I don't remember like his name, you. but that, that's him. That's him right I there. I feel like he fucked a Ruhr kid girl once. So, and what about him? Ooh, yeah, yeah, And then if you think about it, that person, oh, oh, yeah, he died. But I, he, I heard he had a kid. Oh, that kid died, too. But he had a kid as well. And supposedly that kid died, but didn't die and came back to life. So this has to be the right one. (laughs) But he's got a friend of his that he claims that his spirit is occupying his body. So what about that guy? Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great one. Because technically, even though he's dead, he's inhabited by the true Ruhr kid. He's a better right. contender. That makes sense. Right, 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 right. And he's <laughs> married to his cousin's sister, who was once married to another Ruhr kid. So there we go. What about that? Even 
I like that guy because he's got doubled in. Like he's got yeah, from both he sides. He double dipped. He doubled. <laughs> <laughs> and we praise that <laughs> it's not frowned upon it's we're like point. all freaking about it <laughs> yes we're here, all here. Up in it. <laughs> welcome Rur kid no but as they're going through it like each person found that everybody they put forth had been tainted either by their swedish cons uh, Consor or their Polish one, or they'd been for False Dimitri one or two or Marinka oh, the Witch, so that everybody they were naming had, had been some tainted uh, at some point. And damn. so, and all Talk this about. wacky Civil War Michigas, they had been on the wrong side at one time or the other. I mean, talk about some, like, having your past coming to bite you up in the ass. Like, oh, yeah, I was born, but three generations ago, my great-grand, great, you know, grandmother decided to fuck a Poland person, and now I'm not in the running. <laughs> I mean. You're exactly I, right. I mean, but it's like, damn, like, I they didn't even do nothing. every candidate in the tree that way. Everybody this was like, that nope. there fucking was. Tainted. And tainted, it was like, tainted. no. Damn. Well, you took the Swede side in this, and we said no foreigners, or mm-hmm. you aren't exactly a Rura kid, and uh, we said we wanted the blood, yeah, so blood. you're not really on board, no. necessarily, right? Right. So, at the end of all that, everybody's fucking exhausted, because this has gone oh, on yeah. forever. Holy shit. Could you imagine that committee meeting? Like, all right, people, here we go. This is where we're going to start out. All right, cool. This person. Now, I'm pretty sure that was a cousin's brother's sisters of of a Polish king. Okay, nope, cool. We'll exit him out. Okay, what about this person? Talk about, do you want about this name? No. What about that name? No. What about, oh, my God. Like, I would literally want to slit my throat after that committee meeting. <laughs> Like, but that's exactly what they did oh, for shit. days and weeks days and days. And oh my months. god! Like, uh, meanwhile, the country has no center. Nobody's oh, ruling. Oh my god! They've got Polish and Swedish armies amassing. They got Baby Brigand and Marinka the Witch in the south. Like they got to make like a the move. Of Oz. And they're it's fuck- like- <laughs> yeah, they got to make a move. They're goddamn exhausted, and somebody finally says, "Fuck it." What about Let's pick Michael Romanov? Oh my God! Finally, well, at this point, I, I, you know what? You're right. If I was him, I'd be like, "Oh, now you want me? After everything's gone to shit and nobody's up to your quote unquote standards, now you want me?" Fuck but you. Michael, but Michael is now 16. a priest, right? No, no he's not Michael sixteen. Okay. His father is. <laughs> Mm, that's father's right. the priest held right. prisoner at the Polish court but here's the thing Michael was too young to like shit on anybody so after they'd exhausted and was hidden all, they, away. all their and options hidden away. they start to seriously right? yeah. consider it listen they start to seriously consider it although at first he's not a super popular choice as he's still very young but he's right. barely literate He's pretty sickly, and he's largely viewed as unintelligent, which we're going to find out that is not true. Um, But with a little more time and fasting, you know, they they say, and I love how starving and decision out of people always work. (laughs) Just like when you're in conclave electing a pope, what do they do? They, like, keep locking down on the fasting bullshit, and the next thing you know, the correct colored smoke comes out of the Sistine Chapel. Oh, what do you know? We got a new pope. I'm having to eat fucking sardines once a day. Fuck you. I'm hungry. Yeah, but still, yes. And that's exactly what they did. They proposed yeah. Michael. And then the fasting cracks down and everything. And we're going to get to his qualifications. I don't want to get there yet is the reason okay. I cut you off. Okay. So I then, know I get it. Like, I get it. No, I do. Um, but you're exactly right. Michael starts <sighs> to look like the every man candidate. Because this is the boy Like Nobody every- has anything 
wrong to say against him. He can work for everyone. We're about to get to that. So the boyars and the nobles like him because he's a cousin of the last rightful czar of the Rurikid, right? Or supposedly or truly? Truly. Okay. Okay. He's Just checking. Second Just making cousin. sure. Okay. He's the second cousin of the last Rurikid czar, Theodore. And okay. that is no lie. Because his father is first cousin blood relative, one of the only that's like uh-huh. super, super close. Well, he's his son. So that makes him second cousin, which is much closer than anybody else they put forth anybody in the else. kid yeah. line. Damn. Talk about yeah. bloodline. Uh, Literally, so blood they- thicker than water. Exactly. The Cossacks and their little army were uh-huh. fans because his father, Philarat, Michael's father, Philarat Romanoff, had, mm-hmm. after all, been patriarch to the brigand whom they oh. followed. So, okay. Michael had tainted himself by aligning himself to the brigand and the Cossacks in the South, but his father had at one point. So, they're like, ah, this guy was in our favor. He's not going to do us an ill turn. Right? Does that make sense? I mean, yeah, of course. I mean, it makes complete sense. He's at least learning. Hey, he's learning from the past. So I give him props. Exactly. So the mercenaries are on the the side because of who his daddy was. The boyars and nobles because of what his blood is. is. The kid is too young to have any known enemies. Right. Or to be sheltered and, and pushed away. You know what I mean? Correct. Like cast aside, like when as was, not as something. Sp- he was wasn't he anything to worry about. Anything. He was, he was never. considered twice, but not really considered considered. He wasn't like actually like, oh, yeah, we have him, but you know what? Psh, he's he's too young, or he's too. He was touched. sheltered. He was in yeah. hidden. He was always in flight. He Mm -hmm. never had any known enemies. It was only his name that was his enemy. And then on top of that, he couldn't be blamed for any of the past collaborations of his father or his uncles. Because he wasn't there. He was sheltered again, pushed aside, put away. Like, you can't blame somebody who wasn't even there or part of it. He was never there in any of it other than to be a prisoner. Mm -hmm. Which... He at least showed that he could endure that shit and come I mean, out the hello. other side. You got to be pretty fucking tough when it comes body eating time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my shows. And let's Sorry, face it, it made me that's uncomfortable. a fucking point in your favor <laughs> that's a, in Russia. It's major PTSD there. <laughs> you may not be shirtless and right bare, but you eat body. We're you eat the body. And we bar- no barbecue, no just just for, for you to eat. You eat like men, <laughs> or else exactly. you die. So he can't be held responsible for their bullshit that they all did. And then on top of that, his father Filaret is held prisoner by the Polish, with no set time of when he's gonna let go. So nobody can unduly influence the boy. He's not right. being told exactly. what to do by his father. Or what not to do either. either. Exactly. He's his own man to be made by those that are influential at court, which mm-hmm. includes these boyers, these mercenaries, these nobles. They all get a say in the raising of young Michael. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, what an opportunity. Strike where the iron is hot. He's finally old enough at 16 to be like, oh, well, Ivan took the throne when he was 16. Why the hell not? Why not me? Why not me? Exactly. If he can do it. Anything he can do, I can do better. <laughs> I mean, anybody could do it. Well, those early years were good. But, like, after that, anybody can do better. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. <laughs> Been the worst Tinder profile in the world. <laughs> oh. You can do better than Yvonne the Terrible. So Exactly. Michael's kind of the perfect pawn, really. When everyone 
chilled like the F out and thought about it when they got tired of throwing up names. They're fasting. They're tired of messing with all this shit. And they all start yeah. to go, but wait a minute. Hold on. This and this. Hold and on. this and this. And you know mm-hmm. what? We can't say he's not y- too young anymore. Like, yeah. Well, wait a minute. What do, what do we think? So, officially, the Civil War's over. Yes. The time of troubles are finally at an end. Dun, dun, dun. Michael Theodorovich Romanov was yeah. declared czar by Damn. the assembly in the Red Square. It was announced. And they were like, this is it. To the country. And it went yeah. to every corner of the empire. This they is said our czar. And doves. <laughs> They sent a dove. <laughs> they sent doves. Yeah, they sent people. like bullshit kisses. <laughs> I don't know, roses it's with Michael was... Romanov written on them. <laughs> Whatever they out. had to do, they weren't taking any chances this yeah. time. Because this was it. This yeah. was, we're done with it. Like the purge was done. They had purged themselves out sometimes. I just think of Rick and Morty. Sometimes you got to purge, Morty. And they had purged <laughs> and they were done. Damn, we, we have to purge in some sense in all aspects of our life. Just some are more extreme than others. And then what in this case, it people was. couldn't have done with goddamn Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Into. <laughs> if we really could do it, like let's be let's be our I stuff. Am going to unfollow Vasily the Fourth. He is a C N X Tuesday. I am done with him. <laughs> I'm so over Vasily the Fourth. God, I who hate think his is? pose. Ivan the Great, the first. Yeah, Hello. but they didn't have that option, so <laughs> they slit his throat. Oh know? my God! <laughs> I hope he dies. Oh my God! Look at that. He did. Yay! It wasn't me, but Woo-hoo! I, mean, I thought it. Somebody just did it for me. Like somebody else did it for me, and it's not really my business. But somebody uh, else did it. So. Oh my God. <laughs> While things are far from mended, yeah, shit tons, and I mean in the millions of people uh, are yeah. just dead as a doornail. <laughs> Can't bring them back. I mean, and I try, the I guess, but <laughs> is a smoking fucking ruin, for lack of a better word. <laughs> they finally, once again have a legitimate center of power. The country is just a heap of shit smoking ruin, for lack of a better word. Mm -hmm. Like, there are no crops being grown. Mm -hmm. There's famine and death everywhere. Like, Yeah, because they're only worried about one thing. They've only been worrying about one thing. Exactly. They've literally blown it up. In their purge. Sometimes you just got to purge, Bethany. I guess. But you still need crops and things to survive. But okay. Sure. Do you? Not in Russia. You can apparently <laughs> live on hate. And a lot of people do. I <laughs> did. Bodies. I'll <laughs> kill them, but I'll eat them. What do you hate? I killed my farmer. Guess what? He tastes like chicken. <laughs> he tastes like chicken. Yes. Chicken. Oh, God. Oh. Or pork to you. <laughs> oh, so, shit. There is, though, despite all of that shit being against him, at least finally, everybody. And they have shouted it out from the north to the south, the east to the west, the west to the east. It It just occurred to me that I was too drunk earlier to give directions. (laughs) I meant the north and the west with Novgorod and the Swedes and the the Polish. Didn't I? I said the east as well. Sorry, it just came to me that now I'm sobering back up because I have to deal (laughs) with all this shit. Sorry. We apologize. Not sorry. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. <laughs> you know Bethany what? I think that was, was actually an episode. yelling at me about democracy. Before. No, it should be an episode where we just address everything that I have misspoken. 
Here's the bloopers. <laughs> Look, uh -oh. let us go back from the beginning and let me correct all my because I was in a heated passion mistakes. No excuse. <laughs> you I must have said that. West. I might have said West. I don't know. Did I put him in the picture I sent you? Did I put Poland and Sweden in the uh, West? I didn't look at it. But let me go ahead and tell everybody, Novgorod, Poland, and Sweden are in the north, west, and center of the countries. I apologize. The point being, there's one problem in all of this. Of course there is. Yeah, and it's a big problem. Um, a big problem. They've stopped purging. Everything's good, right? Uh, exactly where was the new czar oh my god because he's missing oh my god because he's gone they had they were like oh we're gonna appoint him he wins but where is he oh my god <laughs> this is the most russian goddamn thing ever right <laughs> oh we elected oh my finally god. wait a minute where is that where is he <laughs> Where's that little asshole? Michael? Oh, oh shit. Kill. Michael, the kill. Listen, listen, listen. Hello? Hello. Kill. Laugh, Come God out. Damn. Oh my God, I forgot. He totally was like, I'm out. And was never seen or heard from again. <laughs> Oh my god, I completely forgot. <laughs> yeah. He fucking deuced her and his mom. And they are out. So now oh they've all agreed my belly. and they're like, what the fuck do we do? Where is this little asshole at? Oh my god, where is he? It's like, where's exactly. Waldo? Exactly. <laughs> where's Waldo? And finally, finally, Bethany, we are ready to begin the rise of the Romanov. Oh my God, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you what happened yet. Oh my God. I think we've already extended this one into like three some odd episodes. I just know. because I think it's been a three hour. I think the first one was like, it could have probably been three episodes, but we broke it up into two conversations. We have taken breaks the entire time we have recorded this, and that's why it's coming out in so many. Because we fight so much, and we take so many notes, and we make massive mistakes about very easy directions. <laughs> Excuse me, Jessica? I, I really massive mistake. About oh, very easy directions. I thought Bitch, I thought you were. I can I admit my mistakes because they are few and far between. Wow. Okay. And I met them literally all throughout this podcast. But okay. You make mistakes. <sighs> you ask questions. Jesus Christ. I. I expected us to be through these two and like boop a doop. Um, boop a doop a doop a doop. And I apologize to the listeners. I just didn't realize that the t I didn't think the time troubles would be as fascinating as they turned out to be. Because in my head, when I'm writing this shit, I already know this. So I'm like, oh, it's not that interesting. But that's why I love Bethany, because she asked me the questions that all of you guys asked me on social media. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I probably didn't answer that. And so... It's really interesting to me when when what I think is going to be a puny couple episodes yeah. turns into three and and this turns into this massive like multi-part thing that we're working on. I expected this to last four weeks tops. I thought we'd breeze through the time of troubles one and two. We'd hit Michael and Alexi probably and do one for Peter the Great. And I actually had plans to get to the Empresses, but now I'm looking at it 
by the time we finish this, we're going to go back and we will do the body count of the empresses of Russia at a later date. Ooh, I'm excited for that. I'm I'm excited, excited. but we can't turn this into a Russian history podcast. It's not, you know, what we do. No, but, 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 but it's still important and everything that we talked about. No, absolutely. And I I want to say, I'm sorry, I want to apologize for turning it into, you know, I, I agree too. I thought it was going to be like a two, maybe three measly podcast. And, and, and I, when I started reading, it was like, oh my God, I don't know what the hell is she's talking about. Well, because I take it very much for granted and I, because I know the shit, I know the shit off the top of my head. It's just something that, you know. When you're looking at history and, and you know it very surface like like this, but I didn't even realize surface like there are a lot of unanswered questions. There are a lot of curious questions about the day. And I, I'm very, very glad that we broke it down and we're going to continue to do this. Like, I'm going to let Bethany ask her questions because I think it's more fun. OK, good. I make more mistakes. I make more directional mistakes and more bullshit. And we have more Google map fights and yell more about the nature of governance. Um, well, I'm not going to lie. Because, uh, when we come back, we're going to have our interview with, with Warren. And then after and that, we're going to go back to like some short stuff, 20th history. We'll probably, we're going to do a reverse body count. Bethany's working on some stuff for us. So yes. I get to have fun <laughs> instead of being <laughs> the <laughs> dick. And let me tell well, you, you'll Bethany. still be a dick. I mean, I still oh, don't I'm still still be, a be a dick. <laughs> I don't know no to be a change. what kind of dick I'm going to be because mm-hmm. I'm going to put you through this Romanov treatment. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, 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 uh. Because I will say, guys, I'm very, very excited. I, I don't know anything about, for once, what Bethany's going to talk about. That's I have that. no ah. idea. I'm super excited. A lot to learn. Uh, I'm not going to say what you're going to talk about, but I actually have no idea about it. So I'm very, very excited to do that. Um, so we got a lot of things coming up. I know we took a hiatus. We're never going to yeah. do that to you again. Sorry. Um, there <laughs> were some existential circumstances. We're not ever going to do that again. And Yes, this is going to sum it up for us kind of this week. We're going to be back next week, and we're actually going to get into the meat and potatoes of the Romanovs. I just feel like, and it's like we talked about at the very beginning of this, and, and the reason I wanted to give the preface at the first, why I think it's important that we cover everything going into it. And I think after you've heard this tale, you probably see why that bullshit is matter. Is, but don't get me wrong. I shouldn't say we hated talking about it. I mean, there are brains oh. and gen, there are brains and genitals everywhere. I mean, it is <laughs> interesting and it's a Hello. lot of fun. I know what I'm going to dream about tonight. Thank you. Right, Jessica. and I don't have to feel guilty about <laughs> it because it's like 15 and 1600s bullshit. Um, right, hopefully, it, it, we'll never it come back and be a trend, but. You know, <laughs> then again, you never know. I feel like yeah. we're getting to that road warrior <laughs> yeah. portion of society closer and closer. Um, <laughs> we're going to reach that again, guys. We are going to get back to Patreon. We're going to kind of yes. take the things that we have down off of there. And we're looking at doing something a little different. We're going to do these review, you know, interviews and everything for the public. But we're kind of looking yeah. at a private interview with real life historians thing that we're wanting to do in the future for Patreon. Yes. Um, it's just a little more on brand. We want them to, to talk about their body counts. Mm-hmm. Um, but more it's importantly, for yeah. it's for us. It's for our entertainment. We're going right. to quit trying to watch stuff. We just don't have the time. We got no. too much going on, but we do have the time to sit down with people that are really, really interesting, and we want to start doing that in the future. And we want to hear about whatever body counts that they have, be they theoretical or exact numbers, because, you know, that's what we do on this show. We just like to drop the bodies. We go go both ways. (laughs) No matter what, the bodies (laughs) drop. (laughs) We go both ways. (laughs) (laughs) That's just what we do. So we're going to kind of, I'm just informing everybody on Patreon, we're going to take all that stuff off there. 
We're mm-hmm. retooling that. We want to start doing interviews and we want people that have very specific genres and it may take an, uh, 45 minutes. It may take three hours that we want to start getting through that they're going to talk about with mm-hmm. us what their body counts are. Yes, exactly. And their own specialized fields. And I think it's going to be much more interesting for everybody. We'll probably make a lot of them public. Some of the big guys will probably make private or the ones that we have a lot of fun on that tend to be a little more explicit. will probably be <laughs> private. <laughs> Sorry. I'm real excited about French history podcast. I'm real yes, excited to too. see which way that goes. Cause it may be like super professional or it may just be a shit show. <laughs> a shit show. <laughs> we love you. I hope they love I us. I want to and... look at deep into history. I want them on. I think they're they're gonna be, but they don't really fit into the purview of our individual stories or our friends that are historians may not fit into the purview of individual stories. But we would like to get their content out there, and especially yes, if they have a book that is yeah. definitely gonna be free on Patreon because. We use these books. I use yeah. these books. I use all these books. I take from books, archives, anything I can find that I want to build a story with. Um, so nerd. that's kind of what we're looking at. Nerd. We're kind nerd. of looking at in the future. We, we're retooling everything. We so just apologize. Please be patient. We just have to focus on getting the podcast up and running again. Which Mm -hmm. means Jessica has to get up and writing (laughs) again. And I promise I don't pull this out of my asshole. I do a lot of work on it. More work than I ever intended to do in my life. This was supposed to be a fun thing. But I'm such a perfectionist. I can't let it go. And I'm kind of dumb. So I want (laughs) to ask some questions. So yay. You like somebody said I am your yin to your yang. Or you're 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 the yang and I'm the yang. Whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to be, I'm fine with it. <laughs> like, I really, that is not the case. You're not. <laughs> you're asking the questions that everyone else in the world would ask me that I don't I'm ask. Oh, yay! <laughs> well, that's what I like about it. You ask me the questions that I wouldn't ask myself and that never ever occur to me because I assume like a jackass that everybody knows what the fucking Kremlin is. <laughs> but they don't. And they don't. And the reality is they really, really don't. And so they see that word in news stories and they hear it and they're like, what the fuck does that mean to me? Why do I And care? that's why we do this thing. Exactly. That's exactly why we do this thing, though. I yeah. just want everybody to be up and running and understand everything that's going on at all times. And that's why it's important to me, in light of the current Russian state, to kind of go through and look at the history of really, really early modern Russia. And so right. there we are. Yeah. So, social media plugs. Yeah. So much... We finally get to do one. (laughs) We finally get to do it. So much love for Massive Late Fee at Massive Late Fee on Twitter. Um, They're such a great podcast. And we literally, I know that we say this and I'm not going to reveal why, but we cannot function without them. Cannot, cannot be done. How we don't am I exist. supposed to breathe with no massive late fee, late fee? Late fee. <laughs> They're our air. <laughs> air. For real. The A-I-R. The uh, way it was intended. Yes. Agreed. Because we owe them jack shit. Like, or they don't owe us jack shit. We owe them everything. We don't exist without them. Um, we also don't exist without our wonderful, wonderful, wonderful and helpful network at Big Heads Media on Twitter and then mm-hmm. BigHeadsMedia.com. I just want to let everybody know that we're going to have some ad reads coming down in the future. So mm-hmm. you're going to start experiencing those like, you know, at the top of the show, mid-roll, at the end. We don't want to, you know, throw anybody off or surprise anybody. I know that the people that do listen, listen for that reason. But just know that it's going to be in there. It's just yeah. part of what we do now because of our wonderful, wonderful network. And they yeah. save us. 
And then the show can be found at Body Count Pod on Twitter and Instagram. We don't really keep a presence on Facebook. I'm not going to plug it. I don't know jack shit about Facebook, and I don't care. They can, like, suck me. I'm not interested in being at where my grandparents are on. So, sorry. Sorry. Bethany, where do people find you? Okay, you can find me at Bethany Skelton 5 that's the number 5, on Twitter. And then um, Bethany RM24 on Instagram, and that's really all that matters. But, yeah. So it really is. <laughs> yes, yeah. it really is. It really is. <laughs> and then you can find me at Jessica B. Manor on both Twitter and Instagram. I'm not a huge Instagram presence, but I am definitely all up in Twitter's ass. And I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> I appreciate Twitter because nobody gets on Twitter. And you may say it's a hateful atmosphere or it's whatever it else, but nobody else gets on Twitter, not one person in the world, and lies about who they are like they do on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> People let their ass hang out on Twitter. And it may be hateful and it may at be least the like truth. insane, but at least it's fucking true. It's and true. that is why I love Twitter. It may be the most insane thing you've ever heard. It may be the in- most insane and offensive thing that you've ever read, but at least mm-hmm. it's true. It's like that meme that I showed you where it's like a medieval painting of like an angel and then it's a later painting of like the ass end of some woman's ass. Like me on Instagram (laughs) with the angel and then it's like me on Twitter. (laughs) Right, and that is true. And that is true. Reality, That's why I love like Twitter. virtual reality. <laughs> exactly. I'm not yes. Lie to you, ever. Not now. Not ever. No, I will never. like publicly oh, no. announce somebody is a fucking dick, and I have no problem <laughs> doing that. And that's why I love that platform. So if you want to find me, you may see me on Instagram, and I put ooh, and we put our weekly shit. But do <laughs> communicate over Twitter. Exactly. Yes, we're, we're ready there. to spar right. with you on ready. Twitter. We're ready to be <laughs> dumb and funny, but we're also ready to be dicks um, and just let our asses hang out. And that's why we love it. Love it so much. <laughs> so next week, go ahead and prep yourselves mentally for the interviews that we have coming up. Um, right after Warren's. They're probably not going to be in our feed. They're going to move to Patreon. But I I really, really think that Warren's book is a stroke of genius. I think it's well done. I think it's well researched. Uh, Remember, the Middle East starts with Churchill and the British, not with us and our dickheadedness here in America, folks. What? Um, Actually, it started much further back as far as British Empire. So not everything is our fault. I'm not excusing us. We've certainly perpetuated it. (laughs) (laughs) But it's going to be a really, really interesting thing to me to explore. And I'm looking forward to it. I think it's absolutely brilliant work. I'm going to highlight it for Bethany. (laughs) Thank you. I'm joking, Appreciate it. bitch. I'm joking. No, you're not. It's okay. It's okay. I'm kind of, but not really. I'm going to be I reading know. it myself, so I'm probably going to highlight. I know. It's no no offense taken at this point. I've already okay. heard the. I've already heard the lecture, so I feel like I'm kind of already a step ahead. Mm-hmm. It's available to you too. Okay, but apparently I know. need highlighted notes. I get it. Okay. I just want to draw your attention to the important points that might be in question. And I don't know. We may talk for 45 minutes. We may talk for five goddamn hours. Like, as long as we've got him on on an interview. Look what we did with the Roman house. (laughs) Jeez, sweet lord. Sorry. Like, I didn't admit. No. I'm glad we did it. Because it okay. never occurred to me that there were questions and it. it never occurred to me that it was clearly confusing. Well, <laughs> it wasn't confusing to me. And that is not fair. It's not fair to our listeners. No. It's not fair to you. It's not fair to anybody. 
Remember, you're the one holding me hostage, so. I am holding you verbally hostage, but we also advertise that we don't want this to be a PBS fucking Ken Burns production. We don't oh, want this to be. We don't <laughs> want this to be Dan Carlin, where people walk up to me in the street and they're like, "Oh, do you listen to hardcore history?" And I'm like, "But, but do you? Then tell me about this and why it's significant." <laughs> well, on these dates, no, 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 no. I'm uh, asking you why it's significant. Ask for dates. <laughs> oh, well, then you didn't understand Dan Carlin at all. So this is a starter <laughs> history podcast. Like obviously. <laughs> You Let didn't me reboot what you. you saw or read, <laughs> so let's go ahead and back up and talk about yeah. why it's important, because you clearly don't get it, sir. Sorry. But yet you're yeah. going to sit and give me a dates and times lecture on history, which is just sure. okay. fucking adorable. <laughs> I love you, but no. Let's try again. Oh, and you're Thank so you, cute, next. but like, get the fuck out of my face, non Thank you, next, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Jenner, that shit. Thank you, Nick. Bitch. <laughs> oh, so, no, shoot. I'm very glad we did it that way. That's always okay, been good. what I try to bring to this podcast. I don't want it to be those things. We give a specific disclaimer that we are not those things. Yeah. That we want to represent history. And it's all great and fine if you put your background music and you do everything. But those right. are for people that really, really understand history. And what we're trying to do is, one, make it fun. So there's yes. that drop in bodies, true crime element. But more importantly, <laughs> we want you to understand what in the Sam hell was going on at this and this day. Why the hell That's should it. I give a shit and why yeah. does it matter? Well, it all yeah. very much matters. Very um, much, so, and, especially right now. Yeah. Yeah. At this point, if you've gotten through this and you don't see why it matters in the modern world, you're too thin thick even for our podcast and I apologize I mean, like that yeah. is saying something and and I, if you've stuck with us this long then thank you and I thank my my family for for allowing us to to go this deep into the Romanov history oh yeah I think my podcast family for allowing that to happen <laughs> and to go this deep I thought you met your real family for a second oh. and I was like mine don't listen because they want to not hate me yeah and they're not that fond of me actually already so I feel like this podcast is just gonna put it over the edge probably best they don't Woo-hoo. yep you're right let's be honest <laughs> let's be honest and this is the least objectionable thing about me quite yeah, frankly right. <laughs> um so we're glad to be back we're gonna go into it earnestly next week yeah. we're gonna head off what we're gonna cover and i just want to let you know now like we said there was a different plan we're gonna cover the first three romanov empire or emperors then mm-hmm. we're gonna back up at a later date and we're gonna cover our empresses maybe yeah. when that new catherine the great movie comes out we'll hit up the empresses real quick yeah yeah that'd be great I I'm think it that. will be. Okay. Anything else other than no. you guys? And we thank you so much for yes, sticking absolutely. with us through the break. I know we lost a lot of you. It's never ever going to happen again. We're back. Exactly. And, and we're, we're here, here to, to go. stay. Thank you. We stay. love you. Love you. Bye. Bye.